Oh, Jesus, my whole heart's desire is to be revived again and be renewed. You to spoke with that great apostle. said, be renewed in the Holy Ghost. That's my cry. That's my soul. And I come to you today. Lord is asking for your mercy. Asking for your grace. We ask, Lord, to search the hearts needs of your people. God, in this surrounding area and here this day, God bless all the ministers, God. Stir us preachers up. God, wake us up, Lord. Help us stand in the old paths and inquire of this new and living way you spoke to your apostles said you was going to do a new thing and a new work cut it short in righteousness and Lord I pray that you let me in oh Jesus I don't want to be one of them Sadducees first he just have the outward look God we know we got to be have on the whole armor but Lord I want more than an outward look I want something inside of my soul God in the name of Jesus Lord in your day Jesus the scribes and the Pharisees live like they save God but only Nicodemus out of all of them, Lord, made it into the kingdom. But he had to come to you by night. He was ashamed, I guess. But after he got it, he didn't care. God, give us that place in the kingdom. Revive me again, Lord. Master, we pray, God got some requests, Lord. It came in on the phone. God, I pray that you're sending your word. God, I pray you, Jesus. We pray, God, that you shake that man Someone was wanting prayer. Shake him over hell. God, in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord, he, he, say he looks like a Christian. Around people acts like one, but he's got devil in him. God, you can shake him up. God, we can't let the devil. God, we got to... We got to succeed. You told us we got to succeed, the scribes and the Pharisees, to enter into your kingdom. Master, 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 sanctify me for real. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus of Nazareth, we ask you for your mercy. Sanctify me, Lord. God, I'm asking you to transform me, translate me. Touch the people here today. God, you said the grace of God it appeared to all of us, all men. Woman's too. I know you when you spoke to the men, you speaking to the woman. Deny ungodliness and worldly lust that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly. Now, after like we get to heaven, Lord, you said here. Oh, Jesus. God, I pray for these great quests, and I do take this telephone call.
Seriously, Lord. God, I pray. It's in your word that this man and shake his soul, shake him over hell. God, we got to be more than when we're around people act like a Christian. God, we got to be a Christian in our daily walk. God, I know you know how. Lord, they may fool people, but God, nobody fools you. You said, woe be unto them kind of people. Woe be unto your scribes and Pharisees and he calls some of them hypocrites. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want something to set me free. Lord, you said you should know the truth. I want to know what it takes to make me free. In the name of Jesus, you got a need. You want some transformation. You want some changes in your life. Lift up your hand. Oh God. Mighty God. It's in your word, Lord. Mighty God, mighty God. It's in your word. The Bible said you sent your word and you healed them, you delivered them. God, we need you to do it now. Lord, America's went overboard. She's almost to the place of no return and may be already. Lord, you warned us in the Bible about going to the place of no return. Couldn't get back if we tried. So God help America. God don't care what you got to do. Shake us over hell. Kill a bunch of us. You're God, Lord. You, you sent floods. Drowned the whole world. But just a family. God, you're still God. You was God then. And you're still God. Thank you, Lord. God, you sent fire and brimstone. Burn up a whole city. According to history, two or three hundred thousand of sex perverts. God help us. You warn us in the scriptures. Luke wrote about it. God, but this homosexual thing warn us as it was in the days of that evil bunch so shall it be in the days when you come God I think about how the president made his own law that homosexual people lesbians could get married God Court's ruling is okay. Oh, God, help us. God, help us, Lord. The people we sit here, people sitting here don't even realize, don't even know what's been going on in our country, and they don't care. God, I know we're coming to the end. Jesus, I feel fire going up down my body. You think I'm crazy. But if you do, you are. I'm telling you, we better wake up. Cry out to God, people. We're sitting on the banks of hell. What some of you don't know is muddy. You're going to slip. You're going to slide right into hell. I don't care how good you are. Pharisees didn't make it, and they better than all of them put together. 
Sadducees didn't make it. Only one out of all of them. God shake us up. God shake us up, Lord. Lord, you want us to have a good outward appearance, but that ain't our salvation. You said it's the hidden man of the heart. Oh, God, give us a hidden man of the heart. And God, do send your word. That woman that was crying, Lord, for prayer requests, send your word. God, fix everything, God. God, help that boy. Protect him. Do something. If you got a need, lift up your hand. God, I feel so broken. Thank you, Jesus. God, thank you, Jesus. God, send your word. Everyone's got their hand lifted to their families, their situations. God, and Lord, you told us to make our request known to you right now, Lord, as their heart, their spirit reaches out to you. We ask for a mighty miracle. All in the name of Jesus. And all be the glory to you. Mighty God, mighty God, help us to continue to lift you up. Lord, you said our righteousness is a bunch of rags. So help us get that hidden man of the heart. All in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand up to the Lord. Glory. Some of you probably don't believe that, but you will one day. I tell you, you put that first footsteps into hell. Lord have mercy. You wish you had something besides this, your out appearance. I don't care if you don't like all that stuff. You better wake up. I said, you better wake up. I'm telling you. Hey, Paul, that ain't going to be much room in hell for sinners. <laughs> Too many. I call them hippersnippers. Hypocrites. Glory. I mean, it just takes more. You, did you ever read the Bible? Did you know, according to history, Nicodemus, he slipped over at night. He didn't want nobody to see him. He was so ashamed Amen. To, to go to Jesus. But I guarantee you, after he got born again, thank God, from the housetop, he started hollering. <laughs> glory. I said, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. I said, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise his name. Praise his name. Glory. I enjoyed that song, Lord, keep me sanctified there. I'll tell you that song probably, you know, tell you how many times it saved me. Kept me saved. When the storm clouds gather, when the battle gets rough, way it gets hard. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Don't you appreciate the Lord? I said, don't you appreciate the Lord? You ever look back? Has you ever look back? Thank you, Lord. You know, a lot of times you think God is being mean to you. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes it come back to my mind in the late 70s. Help up. 
helped build churches all over the United States. Had the checks were approved. It. And all them preachers came in there. Some of them tried to do away with me. Had a four-week trial I was tried. The judge and the Lord, but we wouldn't let the jury see those checks. Why well, help Don Clowers and all them other guys? Because I didn't want them to go to jail. Because I didn't think. But you know, that was the best thing ever happened to me. Now, every one of them guys disappeared from the scene. They know one of them, most of them did. And some of them was younger than me. Thank the Lord. Do you know what that done? That made me them four years. They didn't put it against the record. When they got out, the government wound up paying me a half a million dollars. And I put every bit of it in the ministry. A little over half a million dollars. They didn't want me to sue them. But I wasn't going to do that. No, they didn't give me a dime. But they put me back on my feet and every one of them guys, yeah. some of them pushing up, most of them pushing up daisies. Yes, yeah. And I wouldn't be in their shoes. Yes, but you know, you know, some people can't go through nothing. Did you know the Bible said we'd be tried by cold water? No, fire. What? Fire. Did it say fire? <laughs> That's what people want. <laughs> well, I better shut up, up fella. There comes something here and here comes something. <laughs> Woo! God's good, though. Look what Jesus went through. Seven disciples, twelve disciples. When they arrested Jesus, everybody disappeared, didn't he? Amen. Ain't that sad? He had to go to Calvary by himself. But you know what he was doing? suffering for us they beat him they said oh, nobody never took the beating that he took and lived to leave the whipping pole but yet he had enough strength to get two thirds up that impossible mile where they nail him on a cross that's when Simon I believe that's when God's heart took to Africa Simon was from Africa. I believe that's when God's heart took to Africa. All in places that even still there's about 30 or so countries or more still ain't heard of the name of Jesus. Oh, I just love the Lord. God helped me reach over 200 of them. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. One of these days, I hope He has me to reach the rest of them because I'm not, if I don't go over, most of preachers, when they do get some in place, they go over preaching this year. Blessed message. Trying to make folks rich. You better be. The Bible said ain't many of them kind of going to get in, didn't it? Amen, you ever read that in the Bible? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's in there. Not many rich folks going to get saved. Amen. Reach over and take somebody's hand. Tell them. He said, money is the biggest enemy you got. What are you talking about? 
You ever read it in the Bible? What did it say? Money is a what? But just give it to Beaver. He'll eat it. <laughs> I said, I said, give it to Beaver. He'll eat it. <laughs> Glory. But one of these days, it's going to uh, come to an end. Let me know that. Thank the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. I said, I appreciate the Lord. I'm going to give you a chance to help us if you're not mad. <laughs> oh, I appreciate the Lord. I said, I appreciate the Lord. So much, so much. I want to, for a couple of days or so here, I was praying this morning, last night too, I appreciate the Lord taking my sleep away from me. Most of it's that way in these meetings. I tell you one thing, I would rather be praying and wrestling with the principalities and standing up to the devil how many uh, have a hunger in your heart for God to give you something to take them gifts of His? You know, the, the Lord spoke to me, the gifts of the Holy Ghost, they're dormant, they hardly know where in operation. Amen. Ain't that sad? You know, there was a one time in the 50s and late 40s and on up when I come in. That was the foundation of the church. But somebody got off track and got a money spirit. That's about all they do now, them television preachers. It's and the rest of them too, almost. But we better get back to the to a man called Jesus. We let him lay over on that tomb. Better get him out of that tomb. Better be lifting him up. Don't you know right now, and none of us gonna enter into the kingdom of heaven. We don't come through that door you trying to get in some other way you're going to be in a mess this little old dead stuff ain't going to make it it's going to take it's going to take some victory and we're at a stage right now that if somebody asked me, all the people I know and preachers I know, who's got the gifts of the Spirit, I couldn't give you one name under heaven. In fact, about some of the late prophets of the Bible, they've left out these signs to follow them that believe. They cast out devils. They left out them, them scriptures. Sure. Did you know God said if if you take away from that word, the original old prophets that passed that word on down to us, you know if you take away from it, you know what God going to do to you? He's going to blot your name out of the book of life. He probably won't never get it back in there. Ain't that scary? Yes, sir. You know why the devil ain't in me? I, I scared him. God scared him out of me. <laughs> you ever heard that son that scared the devil out of you? <laughs> I really the devil ain't me. He got scared out of me. <laughs> you know, some people, they, they just use that as a byword, but 
Boy, he sure enough got scared out of me. I spent about 60 seconds, maybe, maybe two minutes in hell, and I tell you, that was enough for me. Lord, have mercy on my soul. Turn my world around. And, you know, and I appreciate it. As I appreciate it. You know, there's a lot of things you like to do. But I'm glad God interfered in my life before I got too deep. You can't, you know, some people get so deep they can't get out. Thank you, Jesus. I think about that. It probably in a day goes by, I don't think about how the Lord came to me. I wasn't no cusser. I didn't smoke. I was raised against all that stuff. I wouldn't have smoked if it built a chimney on my head. <laughs> I took one swallow of whiskey and it burnt me up. Somebody I said, put pooey on this stuff. I took a suck on a cigarette and the little boy said, you ain't inhale it. And I said, I said, you got to suck it in. I sucked it in. I thought, God, if I ever get it out of me. <laughs> I started coughing and 